Hello guys, this is Kishan and this video is on understanding pivot and pivot operators. So what are pivot and pivot operators and where they are used? Normally in reporting queries you will come across situation where you have to change your rows into columns, you know, your vertical representation of data um, into a horizontal representation of data or a horizontal representation of data to a vertical representation that is changing columns to rows so when you need to do something like that you would be using pivot and unpivot pivot would be used when you want to change your rows to columns and you will use an unpivot when you want to change your columns to rows I'll just show you this with a simple example say suppose I want uh, all the count of all the employees in all the departments so I want the department ID and the count of employees in it. This is all from employees table. So I'll do a group by department ID. So when you do this, I'll just order it by department ID. There is space over here. When you do it, it shows like department ID 10 is 1 employee, department ID 20 is 2 employees, department ID 30 is 6 and so on. But say suppose the department is to show this data instead of so many rows into a single row with multiple columns. Something like, you know, department ID 10, what is the count? Then department ID 20 and the count. The number of employees present in it, department ID 20, 30 and then count. So what I mean over here is changing your rows, your, you know, instead of uh, so many 12 rows, you are changing it into a single row, but multiple columns. You are changing your rows into columns. You will use a pivot in this case. But a pivot would be available if you are using an Oracle 11G database. Prior to that, pivot is not available. So I'll just show you a small trick to, you know, um, get this uh, thing done without a pivot. So what you need to do is, you need to um, uh, go through the employees table and just show you the concept behind it and then uh, write the queries. Yeah. So what you need to do is, you need to mark, like if you get employee ID 10, you need to mark this row as 1. If 20, you mark this row as 1, 1 and then take a count. Um, if you are looking for 30, wherever you have 30, mark it 1 and then take a count. So you will get the number of uh, employees in that particular department. To do this, what you need to do is select. You will write a case statement, simple case statement. Select case when department ID is equal to 10, then 1, else 0, and and will end the case. So this is where how we will do it. So this will be done for department ID 10. For department ID 20 and 30, let's say, we will do it like this from employees table where department ID and I am doing it for 3, 10, 20 and 30. So whenever you get this case, you will get 1. So you need to sum it up. Right. Like sum all the ones that you have got and give me the count similarly here sum all the ones that you have got for department id 20 and then give me the count similarly here sum it up for 30 so it will give you like this will be just give me the, the department id 10 this will be department id 20 and this will be department ID 30. When you execute it, you will get the same result. See, it gives um, instead before it was so many rows, but you change it into a single row with multiple column without a pivot. This is without pivot. I'll just show you the same with the pivot. Now, when you are writing a pivot, just you follow these steps. You write what your uh, what is your you know targeted columns mine are department id and i'm pivoting it on employee id so these two from table name employees once you're done with this much put it in a subquery 
pi because you are going to pi over this now. So setting star from this. Now you write a pi over clause. Pi over is what I want. I want I want the count of employee ID. Now you want the count for I want the count for each department ID. For which which department ID? It's R T M E N T. And now for which department ID is like I take first three, 20, 20 and 30. So when you execute it, I'm have typing is T. I'm just copy it here. So when you do this, you have department ID 10 has one employee, 20 has two employees, 30 has six employees. If you want more like 40, 50, just add it over here. The only, you know, the limitation of this uh, pivot is you cannot have a dynamic uh, statement over here where you can take the department and show you need to hard code it here. So you, once you have hard coded, you will get it. Now you can rename these also. Like instead of 10, I want to say department I, department 10 or I want a particular name. As I want it, I can put it in department 20. Say department 30. So you can give an alias to this co columns also. So this is same as uh, you know the output that we got earlier. One two six. Similarly, you can have over here. This is with pivot one two six, and so you have changed your rows. So many rows, twelve rows. You can change it into columns. So this is pivot. Now I'll still talk to you about unpivot. For unpivot, we'll take some different example. I have a table called uh, student marks. What in this table is, I have a student ID, the mathematics marks, physics, chemistry and biology marks. Sometimes students have not appeared for some exams and there is null data. So this is one for say a student ID 10, you have one, two, three, four. Four marks in four different columns. Say suppose I want uh, them in different rows, are like I want only two columns, student uh, the subject and the marks and then I want it, the, I'll just write down the way. Say I want something like student ID, the subject and the marks. Something like 100, subject is maths and you know, marks is 80. And then again 100, some other subject, physics and marks is 70. And then 100, you know, like this, chemistry 77. So I'm changing all these columns, you know four different columns into rows. I got it into rows. Here I get by you and 90. So I have now four diff I have four different rows instead of you know these many columns. So to do this we'll use an unpivot. Unpivot is very simple. All you need to do is select star from the table then once you are done this what you want is unpivot. So unpivot. Unpivot what I want marks. So I just give a column name marks. Four, like this four will be the uh, column name for all this maths, physics, chemistry, and bio. So it's like subject marks. In, in you have to put all the columns that you want it. Like if I want these, just these two columns to come over here. Like I just want maths and physics. I need to just write mathematics and physics over here. I'm separated by comma. How we did it in the previous pivot. If I want all of them, I have to mention all. I'll just describe the table so that I can copy the column names. Yeah, so I'll take mathematics. I'll take all four. Based on our comment, we can, you know, select which we want or if we don't want any. So, chemistry. Over here. And last is biology. <coughs> so when we execute it, as you can see over here, we have changed so uh, n number of uh, you know columns now into rows. You have hundred mathematics, eighty hundred physics, and now you have only three columns, but you have many rows. You have about fifteen rows. So this was our original table where we had many columns and marks, but now you have them in the form of rows. 
like this is helpful when you want to take a maximum of something or a minimum of something or something like that otherwise if you have a table uh, data in the structure you need to compare these columns and then find out the max or mean it is a you know tidy id process and also you need to hard code it and all but here you can you know unpivoted it get it this way now you can take a max of some you can just write a query on this and get it so this is pivot and unpivot both have their you know special functions one will convert your columns into rows other will convert your rows into you know columns so choose wisely as per the requirement mostly they are used in reporting queries you know where you have a specific format to view the output of the data in so this will be helpful i hope this video was informative please do like share and subscribe this is kishan signing off thank you